Hi, my name is Scott Auger. I'm the founder of Omdis Information Works Incorporated, and we'll talk about that a little bit after this talk. There's been a lot of talk going on about webifying your application, which is pretty important if you've got a character app. Those things just won't sell anymore. And if you're trying to keep it updated in the uh, work environment, uh, it's becoming pretty hard to find programmers who are willing to work on character applications. They're becoming as hard to find as, say, COBOL programmers. So, let's talk about webifying your application so that you can find more programmers who are willing to work on your application, like the younger ones. They're used to using the web as their interface. It's this, the way the world goes around. So let's talk about the pros of using a web application. One of the pros right off the top of my head is that you can use almost any type of computer to access a web application. Not only desktops, but also tablets and smartphones. They all have web browsers. And let's go further and say that Almost every operating system out there can handle using a web browser. So if a user is on Linux or MS Windows or they're using a smartphone like iOS or Android, almost all these come with web browsers. So they're able to use your application. Uh, there's no special need for software installed on the user's computer. There's no terminal emulator for character, and the progress client is not needed for GUI because it's web. This is a lot of work reduced for changing, adding users, and deleting users. It includes configurations for making calls for remote procedures. Almost all computers have an internet browser on them today. All one really needs to get a user up and going is an email that has the URL of the web application and their username and the password. Might want to separate those two, but in general. Uh, once they use the URL and log in, boom, they're in the application. Turning off users is simplified. It's done at the server. So there's no client for you to try to chase down and uh, discontinue use with. And as you may have guessed, all the software is on a set of behind the scenes computers. So that means upgrades and all that sort of thing it's not controlled by the users, or the user being around, or the user sending in their PC, laptop, tablet, smartphone, what have you. It's all done by the people who are running the system. WWW apps are able to document themselves. You can just put a URL, a little help you uh, link on the application, and it'll pull up a page with text, sound, and video. They tend to be a whole lot faster. There's reasons for this, uh, but we'll, we'll get into that in another video. And now we'll talk about the cons, the things that people don't want you to know about webifying your application. The first big one is it's going to be more expensive because those programmers are going to need to know more than one language. So if you've got Progress ABL only programmers, they're going to have to learn HTML and JavaScript. And if you want it to be a really fancy interface, they're going to need to know a lot of JavaScript and perhaps even a couple frameworks. Also, developing WWW apps requires more than one integrated development environment. 
or version control software too. <laughs> what I use is Adobe Streamweaver and then I will you know basically edit the pages with Dreamweaver. Then I'll compile it up with Workshop which is a progress provided uh, application compiler and I'll use say Architect to deal with mucking around inside the code because it'll have tools that know how to uh, navigate, navigate the code say which object calls which object etc so there you go One may want to divide the web interface, the portion facing the user, with one expert who's familiar with using that sort of UI, and then having the progress people being more familiar with using the background uh, on the server. Uh, this is more complex with the classic kind of thing, a uh, classic web service, or web development, sorry about that. There is a difference between web service and a web application. Uh, and WWW programs work differently. Uh, you'll need to become familiar with a lot of background processes. That's because long-running uh, functions such as exploding a BOM in a manufacturing process or making calls to a third party credit card processor for e-commerce or calling out the various vendors for commercial or loan, home loan mortgages or even just having long running reports. Uh, time is of the essence because if the application doesn't return back a web page. It basically shows the user that something blew up when obviously nothing blew up. So yeah, there are ways around that sort of thing, which is basically throw it into a queue that gets handled by a background process and then allow the user to see what's on that queue and determine what has been processed and what hasn't been processed. It's just different from GUI, just as GUI is different from character. And there are some quasis between uh, the pro and cons of doing a web interface on your application. Unlike GUI and Chewy, you're not committed to making your interface look like all the other interfaces out there. The bad about this is that there can be developers who have no idea how to make a page that's navigationable. But the good about it is that you can make it more uh, branded to your company. You can put the logo on there, you can control the colors that are displayed and the pictures in sound, etc. And then there's the biggie. When you convert a progress application, whether it's GUI or Chewy, character user interface, a lot of the functionality is embedded in the actual screens. They're not, you know, abstracted out to a lower level. So they'll have things like if this particular field on the screen is uh, an element of this other set, then they can only choose these other, other elements for this character, for this field. So there's a lot of gotchas that'll happen. And on character applications, a lot of them have uh, really wild menuing systems, uh, especially the older ones. They'll have to be adapted uh, for the web browser because basically uh, they're going to be running on two different systems. The web browser is going to have the menuing stuff and the server is going to be able to do stuff that's based on the menu. 
and let's see I think that is pretty insightful into the problems that you're going to get into if you ask um, various web speed developers or companies about these kinds of things uh, those are basically where you're going to get bit on time uh, you're going to have programmers that need to know multiple languages going to need to know the algorithms that are in your programs in your character and GUI programs uh, because sometimes there'll be something in the screen and something in another file procedure or object and it's very dependent on what's going on with the screen that's not really possible with um, uh, the web unless you're using something called Ajax or JSON that sort of thing uh, you can contact me uh, at the address below hope you had an interesting uh, viewing of this app. Thanks.